Oh, oh, he's got it! Oh, it came up! I feel like Josh Jorgensen right now. Oh, Striper! Striper, yes! Woo! <laughs> that was so sick! Well, here we are, on the beach. No more freshwater missions, at least for now. I've been spending the whole weekend on the Cape, actually more specifically Truro. Lucky and I have been straight chilling, having some good eats, eating some clam chowder, lobster rolls, you know, all the New England necessities. But the one thing that we have not done over these past three days on Labor Day weekend is go fishing. So we're gonna change that today. I decided to pick up a few rods. I got a big, medium, and a little. And we're gonna just fish for anything and everything. I don't know, black sea bass, little mackerel, maybe some squid, striper for lucky. We're just gonna kind of give it our all, but I've got a backpack full of some lures. I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing, but I wanted to at least get a taste of it before the long weekend is over. And that's what we're gonna do. Um, like I said, I'm in Churro. I'm on this beach right now. There's a big jetty out there. So I'm gonna walk all the way out to that jetty, fish the rocks and see what we can see. I'm stoked to finally get on the saltwater scene. Stick with it, stay tuned and enjoy. Buggy, go get him, go get the fish. Go get a striper. Okay, so this is the jetty right here. This is where I'm gonna be fishing. Sorry if it's windy as all titties. I don't know why it's so windy. I don't know why water is wet. This looks dope. Got an incoming tide right now, which means this should fill out. I'm just gonna kind of fish it for now. Give it the old one too. First cast. That was a big cast, wow. Oh my God, oh my God, I had something, I had something. Something just, something just ate my lure, first cast. He's still down there. I think it's a little striper. Something just ate my, ate, something literally just ate my lure. First cast, literally first cast. Oh my God, this is crazy. Oh my gosh, dude, literally first cast in there, I got bit. We got a nice incoming tide right now. There should be some fish coming up. I literally just threw the, I threw the jerk bait in there and just got hit. I saw it, it looked pretty big. It's like 24 inches, something like that. There we go, I'm on. What is this? I got a fish. No way. I got a fish, what is this? Is it a striper? It's a little striper. Little baby striper, hell yeah. <laughs> little baby striper. Yes! My first striper of the New England Sun. Not as big as, uh, as the striper that I've caught in the past, but it's a good fresh start. I'm not sure if you guys know this, but striped bass are easily like top five favorite fish I've ever caught just for their sheer power and like the way you can catch them. Mostly top water oriented fish, but you can get them deep jigging as well. You can vertical jig for them, you can throw swim baits, you can go up shallow and throw jerk baits too. There's just a lot you can do for these guys. Look at that beauty. <laughs> That's a big moment. That's definitely my smallest striped bass I've ever caught, which, is, uh, which isn't which is saying much because I haven't caught too many striped bass. That's a gorgeous fish, gorgeous. We've got an incoming tide, so I feel like we're gonna see a few more of these dudes. All right, see you later, alligator. Wow, he's wiped. That guy put up a long fight. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> Stripers, that's awesome. That's huge. It's so cool. So like, I literally just picked up this setup while I was here in New England. I went, I went to a tackle store and picked up this 7.6, which is, in my opinion, like a good in-between rod. Like it's a 7.6 heavy, so it can handle obviously some bigger stripers, some bigger fish, maybe some bonita or whatever. But I also like it too, because it's light. And if, I don't feel like I'm walking around with this giant surf casting rod. This rod's good for this kind of stuff. Of course on the beach and some of the deeper areas, anything above like nine and a half foot, 10 and a half foot is what you want to be throwing. But this is it, it's like a little 7.6, medium heavy saltwater rod. I've got a 4,000 size reel on here, spooled up with some 20 pound test, 20 pound fluorocarbon. And then I've got a 40 pound mono leader. And then on that, I'm just throwing a little macro color jerk bait. That was sweet. Just like bass fishing, like just like largemouth bass fishing. It's so funny how you can take a tactic to a place that you're so unfamiliar with and it pans out. Gorgeous fish. Oh, that gets me pumped. I'm so stoked. Let's go get some more. Oh, oh, something just busted. Something just busted right there, right there, right there. Something just busted. Come on, 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 come on. Something just busted right there. I'm on it, I'm on it, I'm on it. There we go. That's pretty close. That's close enough. Something. There he is. I got him. I got him. Fish on! Yes! I got him! Yes! Let's go! What is it? Is it a little stripey? 
This feels different. This does not feel like a striper. I watched that fish bust and threw right at him and he's on. What is it? Another, I think it's another little striper. What do I have? What do I have? Yes, another little striper. Yes! <laughs> Micro striper. <laughs> this is amazing. I am having so much fun catching these little guys. I know a lot of my New England viewers are gonna be like, what the hell, John? Why are you getting hyped over these little, little schoolies? These aren't even schoolies. These are like the, the offspring of a schoolie. Um, but to be completely truthful with you, I just, I never grew up doing this. Like this is something I'm, I'm totally new to. So this is like catching my first largemouth ever. And I'm sure a lot of you guys can relate to that feeling. It's like, it's hype. No matter how big the fish is, it's just cool to figure it out on your own. That fish busted out there. I think he was eating some little bunker threw right in the vicinity and ho ho, he came in hot. Came in hot. Another gorgeous fish. See you later. Ooh, they're so feisty. Look at him, look at him, look at him. There he goes. <laughs> yes. I wonder if there's more out there. I'm, oh, I'm on again. No way. Yes. Oh, I'm on again. My next cast, I got another one. Oh my gosh. Dude, they're in here. This incoming has got them pushed up in this shallow stuff. It's another fish. I am so hyped right now. This is incredible. This is incredible. This is so much fun. Another striper. <laughs> yeah. We are smoking them right now. <laughs> That's so cool. There must be a little school of them out there. This one's a little bit better just by hair. That jerk bait sticking on his mouth. That's a nice one. Wow, he clobbered it. Same spot. I threw right in there right after I released my last one. Hoo hoo hoo, you're racking them up. There's more busting. There's more busting out there. There's a ton of them. I just saw another one bust. Here we go. I'm going back in there. I just saw another one bust. I just saw another one come up and surface. There's, oh yes, yes. Third cast, third, three in a row. Three stripers in a row. Let's go, baby. Let's go. <laughs> yes, yes, get in here. Oh, these guys pull so hard. Look at him. He is going off. This is incredible. This is so much fun. Oh my God. Yes. There, there must be just a freaking riot of them over there. Oh my God. I am freaking out right now. This is, oh my gosh. Come on, relax, relax. Relax, 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 relax. <laughs> I'm losing my mind. <laughs> I don't know how I stumbled upon this, but I did and I'm so happy. And I'm gonna put this little schoolie back. See you later, schoolie. Whew, let's go get some more. I have some bad news. Well, it seems that our micro striper blitz has faded into nothing. There's not a peep. Nothing's busting. I'm not seeing as much bait. The tide is up now by probably about four feet and there's no more fish. I don't know if that's just the pure nature of saltwater fishing, but I, that's just weird to me. It's like they were here and now they're gone. It seemed like there was a lot of them too. And I probably could have caught more if I like was releasing those fish quicker, but yeah, that was still fun. At least I got a little sliver of, you know, what New England fishing should be. I know those are little fish, but you gotta admit, it's hype, especially on like your 7.6 medium action rod. Those things just straight yank. But anyway, I really enjoy this. Give this video a like if you guys wanna see me do more saltwater missions, whether it be on foot or boat. I truly enjoy this, and I wanna know if you guys also enjoy watching this too, because I'm absolutely out of my element, and it actually feels kind of fun to just learn something new. But anyway, like the video if you guys wanna see more saltwater content. Although the bite here has faded, I'm not giving up. I'm gonna go try a different spot, maybe let this uh, tide cool down a bit right now. It's a fat incoming, the water's rising, maybe these fish like an outgoing tide. So I'm gonna pack everything up here on this little inlet, this little jetty, and go find some new stuff. But in between then, I might grab some, uh, some soup, maybe some scrambled eggs, kind of take a break, wait for this tide to change, and we're gonna hit it again. But this, this right here, this was dope. I'm so stoked I woke up this morning and made a few casts on this little jetty. Freaking gnarly. Okay, I'll catch you guys in the next spot. We here on the scene, back on the Cape, and uh, we're at a new spot right now. I don't really know where we're at. I think we're, oh, I don't know. We were in Truro earlier. That's where we called those stripers, but now we're on a different beach fish in a different jetty and a front has decided to roll in. So the weather's a little bit hairier, although we do have a fairly decent tide right now, which is good for fishing. But yeah, basically what you guys missed is I grabbed some lobster bisque, Lucky and I chill on the beach, soaked up some rays, and all of a sudden when I decided to go fishing, <laughs> this weird front rolls in, which also leads to my second point, that being if any of you guys are experiencing Hurricane Durian, 
my thoughts and prayers go out to you. Seriously, I've been following this hurricane uh, throughout the day since I've been off the water and since the whole stripper deal was off and uh, since I turned the camera off and it looks pretty bad. I just wanna say that I'm thinking of you guys and that I hope you're okay and that I know the Bahamas is getting absolutely you know, wrecked right now and that's just awful. My condolences and prayers go out to those who are affected by this really nasty storm. Yeah, it's just something to keep in mind as I'm so fortunate enough to fish on this beach, I, I understand that, uh, that, that not all are uh, that fortunate on a day like today. Anyway, I don't want to put a, like a Debbie Downer note on the rest of today's fishing mission, but I also do want to acknowledge the fact that right now is a pretty serious event. Another uh, category four or five hurricane is going on just south of here. It's very disturbing to hear that. So let's try to catch some fish in their honor. Uh, I'm at this very windy, stormy beach today. Although it seems kind of crusty and windy, it is a gorgeous day out today. Look at that sunset right behind me. It's right around 6 p.m. So what we're gonna try to do is get on a tail end bite situation. And uh, we're gonna walk down to this little jetty, throw the jerk bait, throw the big top water. If we get lucky, we'll catch one. If not, whatever, we had a great morning. Stick with us, stay tuned, and uh, maybe we'll get bit. <laughs> All right, here's the breakwater. Let's go catch some fish. So I am starting the PM session off with the same bait that came up on top in the morning. A little jerk bait, seeing if that gets them. These, these conditions aren't necessarily ideal. Def, oh, big striper, big striper, big striper, big striper. Come on, come on. Big striper right there, right there, right there, right there. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, big striper right there. Oh my gosh, you guys, big striper just followed my, swim, my, my, my uh, jerk bait all the way up. Come on, come on. Come on. I didn't think I'd get anything here, but like I reeled that jerk bait and I was like, oh my God, it looks like a fish right behind my bait. Sure enough, it's like a freaking nice striper, like a big one. Way bigger than anything I caught today in the morning. Give me a hookup, give me a hookup. Please give me a hookup. Oh my God, stripers, 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 right there. Whole school of them, whole school of them. Oh my God, whole school of them, I just hooked up. I just hooked up, whole school of stripers right there. Whole school of stripers right there. Oh my gosh, big ones too, good ones. I just hooked up. I hooked up. I looked away for a second to step on a rock. Oh, oh, he's got it. Oh, he came off. What the f***? He came off. Oh my God. I'm losing my mind. Just eat it. There's schoolies down there. There's schoolies down there. Oh, he just missed it. He's got it. Yes. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> yes, let's go. Let's go. Oh my God, I caught one. I freaking caught a striped bass. PM session. Let's go. Woo. <laughs> Am I recording? Hell yeah, I'm recording. I'm losing my mind right now. There's a big school of them. There's like 10 of them. 10 of them were falling in my jerk bait. So insane. I'm losing my, I'm, oh my God. I gotta, I gotta relax. I gotta relax. Hey, hey, calm down. <laughs> calm down, John. Oh, oh geez. This thing is fired up right now. I lost, I think I just lost my voice. I'm like bringing the bait back in. I'm like, oh, you know, I'm lazy. Like, I'm like, oh, I'm not gonna catch anything today. This PM session is dust. Sure enough, a freaking wolf pack of them comes out of nowhere, falls it in. This little guy takes it. I lose the fish like four times. Like I had a fish hooked like four times there. No, I'm sorry guys. I, I, I you know, I know the hype. I, I know the hype to some people seems like a lot, but it's real, it's authentic. And, and I can't fake this, you know, I can't fake the hype it's just oh my god look at that it's a little striper but it's what i want you know it's what i want that's what i'm after little tiny stripies wow mega intense okay i'm not gonna get too close to the rocks because it is pretty slippery down there so i'm just gonna give him a nice gentle toss see you later guy grow big and grow fat <laughs> that was so mental i'm freaking losing it oh my goodness let's go there was a whole school of them here earlier like a monster school like a monster school I caught, this. so funny, like early this morning, the tactic that I found that was working was like kind of, oh, I'm on, I've got a fish. Oh my God, you guys, we we have found some fish here. <laughs> we have found some stripies, little stripey. No, blue, blue fish, it's a little blue fish. Yes, we got another species. Oh no, he's going on the rocks. Stop it, stop it, stop it, blue fish, stop it, okay. Oh my God, bluefish, stop it. You're gonna, you're gonna die, buddy. So this right here is a different fish species. This is a bluefish. Not a whole lot of people specifically target bluefish on the East Coast, but in my opinion, they go hard. I've caught, I think my biggest bluefish ever is like, I don't know, like 15 pounds. They're fun to catch, they eat surface lures, but you gotta watch out because they do have some teeth. Check out those chompers, look at that. Yeah, 
That's like, oh God. There he goes, okay, hang on. I'm gonna, oh, he's, I think, yep, he just released himself. Anyway, long story short, bluefish are cool. About that size is usually uh, what some guys use for tuna bait, or at least that's what I've heard. That's a perfect bait size, but that was a fun little fight. I thought that was a striper at first. I was like, no way, it's a striper. So that's my first bluefish of the New England uh, tour. Sorry, I'm still I'm still vibing. This is so much fun. This is incredible. I'm gonna wash uh, my hands off because bluefish smell bad. Yes, bait, yes. Oh, oh, stripers, stripers right there. Striper is right there. Striper is right there. No way, no way. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, I gotta reel on my jerk bait. Oh, I, oh, oh, they're busting. They're busting out there. Oh my God, they're everywhere. I feel like Josh Jorgensen right now. Oh my God, I, feel, I literally feel like Josh Jorgensen right now. This is what Josh feels like. Now I know why saltwater fishing is so hype. This is so intense. Oh, striper, striper, yes. Woo! <laughs> that was so sick. That was so sick. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm losing my mind out here. Now, this is a guy that grew up fishing for little bass and little bluegill in the Midwest of Illinois. And these little schoolies are, are just insane. They're just insane to me. They're so crazy. Yeah, stop it. The jerk bait comes in clutch again. I love this jerk bait. This thing is so simple. I'm pretty sure it's just like a saltwater version of an X-Wrap. Uh, it's a bait that I actually grew up throwing a lot for smallmouth and largemouth, but it doesn't suspend like a regular ordinary X-Wrap. I actually saw this fish busting on bait and I threw right in there with my X-Wrap and he comes up and just clobbers it. Again, about the same size the other ones are catching, but doesn't matter. Put up a good fight. Big release, big release. No harm, no foul. Come on. You. <laughs> yes, let's go. Oh, 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 bait, bait, bait's busting, bait's busting. Oh my God, oh my God. You guys, look at, look at, look at, look at, look Oh, 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 bait's busting everywhere. Bait is busting everywhere. Oh my God. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I'm about to get bit. I'm about to get bit, I just got bit. Oh, I just got bit again. There's bait busting everywhere, I'm hooked up, I just lost him. This is seriously one of the sickest fishing days I've had in a long time. Oh, they're busting still, they are busting. They're busting still, get back out there, dude. Oh boy, oh, this is fun, I'm having fun today. Oh, they're little tiny bluefish, they're going ape. Oh, I just got bit. Oh, one just busted right on my feet, oh, I'm hooked up, yes! I'm hooked up. What is it? It's a little striper. <laughs> look at the, look at all the fish busting. Look at them all. Look at them all. They're going hard. <laughs> this is incredible. This is so much fun. Is it a little bluefish or a striper? It's a little bluefish. Yes. It's a much bigger bluefish, actually. There's little pogies out there getting absolutely booty stamped by these bluefish and those bluefish are just having a field day out there it's so scary to hold these dudes because they just they're unpredictable you know okay relax 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 i don't want a hook in my finger okay i got the bait in my hand ah i just got bit by one wow he just bit me check that out don't put your finger in a bluefish's mouth duly freaking noted that was like a piranha bite all right don't mind the blood that's just mine um, time to put Mr. Bluefish back. These guys are ferocious. I did not realize how freaking scary Bluefish, look, he just swam off. I had that fish out of the water for like a good minute and he's just like, yeah, whatever. Wow, those things are aggressive. Wow, they're, they're Bluefish. I've only caught a few. That was probably my third Bluefish I've ever caught in my entire life. And they remind me of saltwater piranhas. That guy destroyed my finger, okay? Don't feel bad for the Bluefish if you saw the blood. That's just my blood all over the fish <laughs> that's intense how about that mayhem i honestly did not think that the pm session could match the am session i thought that was as good as it gets for a kind of on the whim beach fishing session but that truly trumps it so incredible i almost didn't even go out just due to the weather and the fact that uh well to be quite frank it's a little rusty out here but i'm glad i came out I, I know this isn't true Cape Cod fishing, but in my opinion, what is? To me, that was incredible. I didn't grow up on the salt, and uh, to experience that was <laughs> that was a true treat. So, huge shout out to Striped Bass, huge shout out to Bluefish. 
That was mega intense. Most importantly, be sure to give this video a like if you guys wanna see more saltwater content. I would love to learn this fishery a little bit more in depth and try to figure out how to catch some bigger fish. This was a scenario in which I was kind of just getting my feet wet, testing the waters quite literally, and uh, trying something new out. And it panned out to be pretty successful in my opinion. I'm gonna head back to the car, drive back to Boston tonight, and wrap it up and call it a day. Huge thanks to you guys for watching today's video and all the support, be sure to subscribe and uh, check back for the next video as we will continue on the New England Sun. This is just the beginning. It's about to get even doper, believe it or not. But anyway, as always, folks, keep fishing, never stop.